They had waited for hours in the blazing sun, a quarter of a million people, the biggest crowd Raul Pindi had ever seen. It's been the same in every town Benazir Bhutto has visited, jubilant, happy crowds. The procession that escorted Miss Bhutto into Raul Pindi was in a carnival mood. This city, adjacent to the capital, is the headquarters of the army. The homes of General Zia and his prime minister are here. But still, the people turned out in force to greet her. We are your army, they chanted. Her supporters released doves, symbols of happiness and prosperity. Miss Bhutto seems relaxed despite her grueling schedule. It frequently takes her procession 12 hours to reach a meeting place. She's made some of her speeches at dawn, after standing all night as her truck moves at a snail's pace through villages and towns packed with people. How does she feel about the response? The rallies are well organized by Miss Bhutto's party. Their own marshals keep the crowd in order. The security forces have stayed away from her meetings. The numbers and the emotions are undeniable. But the question is, how can these people's referendums, as Miss Bhutto calls them, be translated into real political power?